YouTube, Steve Trucker here. Welcome to my channel, and all those who are new, welcome, and all those who are old. <laughs> I haven't got the fun cam on at the moment because this is more of a chat video, and I may throw over a picture of what I'm chatting about. So it's a truck I checked out at Truck Fest, new truck on the market. Some of the big vloggers are covering it at the moment, or have covered it, like FT has showed this technology already, and it is amazing technology. Don't get wrong, it's cool. It's nothing necessarily brand new in terms of, uh, you know, tech, really. It's just brand new in the fact that it's been implemented. But, let's... What I'm talking about is Mercedes mirror cam technology. I'm not going to talk... I know, yes, there's always technology being added to trucks before. You know, I accept it. There's a lot of tech I agree with that gets added on. AIDS and all that. But a lot of aids you can override, or if they fail, you can still motor on. And this is going to lead to my concern of Mercedes mirror cam technology, especially since after speaking with with them at Chip to Man, one of the representatives there, reference to some of my concerns, see if they you know, legitimately had solutions to get around. You know, my main concern was if out on the road a camera fails, is there a backup system? And the answer to me, I'm not bending any words here, was no. You have, if that did happen, which obviously in their words, very unlikely. You know, I, I always, I'm very sceptical when man, manufacturers say <laughs> this with new technology, or very unlikely will fail. It hasn't been fully tested yet in terms of in real life. And yes, it may work perfectly, but I know with technology there is always a chance that it will fail. Guaranteed almost. You know, there's a lot that could fail. A fuse could blow. A fuse blows, you have no vision into quite a lot of your blind spots and what's coming up beside you and behind you. If a monitor fails, if there's a delay in processing, if there's, I mean, what I mean delay in processing to those who aren't tech aware, is what the camera sees to what it then shows you. So there is sometimes a delay. And it, you might think, hmm. But bear in mind, say that there's a red car coming beside me now. They showed that red car, you know, 100 metres back, because there's a delay. That could be one second, it could be a millisecond delay. And a millisecond on the road could be in somebody's life. You know, or you going into emergency. That's another concern. That is kind of another concern there, not really necessarily on the failure. But over time, how do these systems cope? One advantage, oh, well, there's quite a few advantages, I hope you admit, you know, you've got the security advantage, but there is ready systems for security out there that involve cameras. So that's nothing new. It's new in the fact that it will be able to give a live view all the time to the driver in the cab, and not necessarily these other systems would. Some do, some don't. You know, some will only be back in the office they can see and only when the ignition's on and stuff like that. The other advantage is, yes, it opens up some initial blind spots of where the mirrors would naturally be. It does widen your pillar, though, a little bit. So it's kind of a twofold, yeah, sort of, you know, makes it slightly better. The other advantage is it's less light. I highlight here, less likely to get whacked. Which I mean is like a truck passes you too close, or you know, bushes to a degree. But doing a lot of country work, bushes are higher than the trucks, and trees are much higher than the trucks in the countryside. You know, when you're going down the farm lanes and all that, you're still going to hit hit these pods, guaranteed. You know, you will hit the pod eventually. <laughs> You can't help it, you will eventually hit it. I try my best not to hit my mirrors. You know, and quite often it'd be a low branch, and a low branch is a hard object. I've got mirror covers on, and hopefully they come up with some sort of protector for these, which may neglect this issue of them getting whacked. But if they get whacked and damaged, 
the about two or three hundred pounds more expensive than averagely replacing the like for like mirror on average you know there might be some variation between makes and models this is obviously against a mercedes mirror so ask them how much it would be cost to replace your mirror and it worked out to be between about 200 quid cheaper than replacing the camera unit and would that involve i should have maybe asked should it involve there's a lot of questions here as well still there that would that involve if they installed a new camera would it have to be updated in the system so you got a new camera does it have to be recalibrated you know and that's extra cost at the end though it's more cost in the workshop and how far does the warranty cover that because would mercedes stand by it and so look we guarantee those mere pods won't get damaged and if they do we'll cover it you know if they're that hunts and certain they should in theory put aside from neglect i mean neglect of a driver doing a silly thing and obviously proven that he's done a silly thing then fair enough you know that you know that argument but i think a lot is to do with money here because there's a lot of systems that can fail and if one of the systems fail you're blind as a driver you are blind if a camera fails, screen fails, a connection to, to and from the screen to the, you know, or to the computer, you know, if it depends on it's all tied in, you know, even if it's the boast, if the computer's built into the screen, there's still quite a few areas that it could still fail in. And only time will tell. I admit I'm sceptical. And it's great technology, don't get it wrong, but it's now crossing into the domains of right if that system fails there's no backup you have to wait for a technician to walk up because you're not allowed to drive without a mirror i know yes you, you could slyly do it but personally certainly long distance no because if you can't see down beside you you can't see what your trailer's doing and if you can't see what your trailer's doing you could be doing all sorts of havoc behind you And, you know, I try to be a professional driver. <laughs> I would like to be accountable to what I do. Not saying, oh, I could see that. <laughs> you know. But, tell me if, if, if my fears are gra granted, you know, maybe I'm overreacting. You know, I, I hope, and they should perform well. Initially, you should always perform well. It's new technology and there will be issues. You know, but would it be nice if there was maybe a system they implemented that you could put a temporary mirror on? That would obviously be legal and capable if, in emergency, you the system went down. Maybe if they came up with like some way of mounting a temporary mirror. But then again, it's more stuff you've got to carry, and then what's the point of replacing the mirror? Then. I understand these, which is a cool bit of the technology, is will follow, apparently follow your trailer extreme bends, which is cool. You know, uh, what I would mind to see is to keep the mirrors, but bring this mirror cam technology in as an aid on top of these mirrors, so you have maybe a slightly smaller display somewhere, you know, obviously easily visible, that could follow your trailer and be your security system, and then you get the best of both worlds then you get a clear computer display but also you've got a clear backup solution you know if you know that was really needed to be that would be maybe my solution or middle ground to to it i know it's more stuff it costs money then obviously more stuff but at least then, if the technology fails, you've always got your mirrors, and you're legally ticked all the time then. The other advantage for, I know drivers aren't going to like me saying this, is for the police and those and all that. Mirrors do help them see you into, into the cab and see what you're up to. Mirror cameras won't, necessarily. Unless they can see the screen of the mirror cam. There's no guarantee. On the truck, it is guaranteed because the mirrors are in the fixed location. You can't. We can obviously alter them so you can see better, but you can't like, you know, turn them so those who can't see it. Because otherwise, if they can't see you, then there's probably something wrong. You probably can't see what you should be seeing down the mirror. So then you're ready. Brought yourself into question. <laughs> 
another that's another legitimate point to be aware of. So actually, it could bring more vehicle checks in, which is not necessarily a bad thing. And I have nothing against checks, but where drivers get checked without them realising, you know, and as they as they should be doing, they shouldn't be. about that I was uh, just focusing on what the traffic was up to the A30 is a bit busy today so yes I would love to hear from yourselves what your view is on mirror cams you know I, I do acknowledge it's impressive technology and I it's here it's arrived you know but I don't think every brand's going to take it up personally because that's what well, I think it's obviously what Mercedes hope because obviously I think there might be some licensing fees there somewhere <laughs> The hooping other brands will take it. I mean, it may, they may do, you know, no denying that they might look at it and go, actually, here's another way of generating more money for us. Or, you know, it may be proven to be even better than mirrors over time. But my concern is on the reliability side and backup side of if a driver were, or because of the type of work, a bit like what we do, could, in effect, affect the camera you know to the point that you won't be able to see and you know, as, as you may know I've discussed may, I think I've discussed if I have a knocked in mill I will stop and knock it out when it's safe to do so if it gets knocked in yes these mirror pods do also get knocked in as well so there is some features built in so it's not like Mercedes have completely neglected it but no matter how foolproof the technology may be as you know you know if you drive a modern day car you know your your lcd dash could fail but the nice thing on this truck is that i do have lcd dash but the key critical systems aren't lcd they're still semi-mechanical systems and yes they can still fail anything can fail but they're less likely to fail because there's not so much complexity within them. They don't have to be updated <laughs> as such, you know. And yeah, so I would love to hear what, you know, your views are on the technology. You know, I would like to see a bit more of it. Now, I've seen a lot of reviews on it already and pictures of it. I've seen it in person now as well. I've actually sat, I said, in the cab, I, you know, but I thought I'd do more of a chat video upon it and my personal concerns and thoughts about it. Yes, as I said, there are advantages and there's always going to be disadvantages of any technology. You know, you can argue there's disadvantages of, you know, the traditional mirror system. You know, there is a slight blind spot caused by them. They do block out a little bit of the road and they can on occasion, but still the pillars do the same thing as well. So it's kind of a... As I said earlier, mm, compromise either way. And yeah, I open mail. I'm I I'm I am a slightly sceptical person. I always look at. I love new technology. Don't go wrong. I'm a bit of a geek. I stick my hand up all day. I love tech. You know, I absolutely love technology. But even though I love technology, doesn't mean I follow the. Uh, the sheep line with it you know I always like to know what I'm getting myself into you know or do I actually want that do I want to stick with what I got or do actually do I need that you know I was one of the first not one of the first but I bought the first generation of iPad because I saw actually this is cool tech when people are going no but as I said earlier there is implementations of tech that you know people are, a lot of people would be skeptical of initially and are successful but equally there is some tech that gets bought in and it is the sheep line effect and everyone's like wow look at this new and actually at least down later down the line of actually these could bring in more issues than they could be worth they we i see them being mirror cams being really useful in big fleets so like a big 
who he is, you know, would probably love these because I hate to say it, you know, that big holiers tend to use a lot of agency, and I'm not saying all agency are bad, but in big companies, they and it's not just down to agency, it's also amongst their own drivers and all that as well. You know, they're under, you know, I'm not saying they're bad drivers overall, but in general, in big companies, they tend to have a lot of mirror acts, and, you know, broken, damaged mirrors that so could be very beneficial for the big hulliers, this technology. You know, overall, the cost of actually replacing the unit, you know, because they'll probably save X amount of mirrors anyway, which will pay for if or when the inevitable mirror cam would get damaged and knocked off or, you know, whatever may happen. But with the small leaders and family-run companies and owner-operators, you know, it's... I, if I was owner-operator, personally, as it stands at the moment, I would probably not go with it. I would stick with a truck with some more traditional systems. So, you know, to, you know, build upon the liability and being able to trust and have backups, effectively, and solutions, you know. So I love, as I said, I love, like, the adaptive cruise list, but I can always override it. If it fails, I can override it, or I don't agree why it's slowing me down, I can just step on and it will cancel off. You know, there's always an override, a way around it, on most other systems. I'm not saying all systems, but on most systems on the truck, with technology tend to have overrides and backup ways of doing it. What I would love to see Mercedes actually do, and what they probably should have first, instead of spending tons of money on this new tech, is to sort out my major gripe with Mercedes. And I know I'm not the only one that has the exact same gripe, and it's with the gear, automatic gearbox. It's, I, I personally think it's the worst on the market out of a big, out of a premium truck brand, you know, or so-called premium, and some of the build quality of the cab is a little bit, in terms of longevity, questionable, which not, I was a bit surprised to find, I was, ex I've, I had high expectations when I first drove Mercedes, and I loved the space in the cab, I loved the flat floor, you know, they have done some good things within them, I'm not too impressed with the beds either, some of the things in the cabs aren't as practical as they may seem, but there is some good things as well. You know, said so flat floor, there is a good storage compartment in the middle. It was more of a tabley dash in a way. But as I said, this leads down to assessing a review of Mercedes, really. So I'll leave it at that, and please comment down below your thoughts. You know, do you have share the same concerns? I'm not calling for Mercedes to stop the mirror cam technology, no! No, it needs to be progressed, obviously. It has to be progressed through time, really, and we'll have to see how it goes. I'm just saying at this time and period, I am very sceptical on it. We will have some, what I would rank, fairly severe concerns in terms of reliability and longevity of it. And, as I said, if it fails, it will stop you in your tracks. You will have to wait for a mechanic to come out to sort it out. And if you're not in warranty, certainly if the system breaks down, it's be coming out of your hoodie's pocket, which is then money that could go on to driver's pay, or better conditions for work, or more trucks for the fleet, or, you know, profit for the company, you know. It, <laughs> You know, time will tell. As I said, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Either way, you know, I do like the technology. Don't get me wrong, it does look cool, you know. But I just wonder at this stage, is it more of the Apple effect? Of wow, look at this. Then you realise six months down the line, like, oh, actually. <laughs> I bought this truck and actually it's not as great as I initially thought, or I've had these issues with it. <laughs> or it might not, we have to see. So, I'll see you in the next video, I want to add a bit of uh, community update chat on the back here, and say a massive thank you to all my recent subs, I know I've been saying it a lot recently, but I've had a huge upturn in, in channel 
likes and subscribe subscribes and all that and it's blown me away as I said I think in my vlog this week hopefully I'll release that it blew me away so yet again if you like what you see please sub if you don't like what you see you don't have to sub hit the like hit the dislike button it all helps at the end of the day and also check out my Instagram and Facebook I've been more on Instagram of late I'm trying to do a bit more on Facebook where I can I'm, I'm not the strongest in social media but I'm trying my best so I'll see you in the next one over and out